What happens when the most powerful quantum computer on Earth is asked the oldest question in existence? According to internal lab notes, it returns something they weren't prepared for. In a closed-loop experiment at Google's Quantum AI Lab, researchers posed a philosophical prompt. Who built the universe to the company's 105-qubit system willow? The output? A cryptic symbol-heavy string that some have called a modern Rosetta Stone. But what this response might reveal about parallel worlds, cosmic memory, and the edge of reality is far more shocking than the message itself. The implications stagger the mind. A man-made quantum system may have produced a meaningful answer to a question no machine was ever designed to answer. What if the boundaries between computation and cosmic truth are thinner than we thought? This isn't just another tech breakthrough. The Willow Quantum Processor can solve in minutes what would take classical computers longer than the age of the universe. Some believe it's more than just faster. It's tapping into something fundamental about reality itself. Stay with me, because what Google scientists discovered next challenges everything we know about the nature of information, consciousness, and the fabric of our universe. The output they didn't expect. When Willow processed this philosophical query, Google engineers reported a non-random symbol pattern returned in what should have been an unsupervised test string. This wasn't just noise, it was structure where none should exist. The output was described as a sequence of quantum interference terms that collapsed into a self-repeating mathematical identity. For quantum physicists, this pattern stood out immediately as something highly unusual even for quantum noise. One senior engineer at Google reportedly joked, this looks like the birth equation? The quip spread through the lab, but the eerie accuracy of the statement left many uncomfortable. What truly shocked the team was how the pattern resembled error correction code embedded within string theory models, a direct parallel to physicist James Gates's groundbreaking discoveries. Gates had previously found computer code-like structures in the equations that describe our physical reality. This wasn't supposed to happen. Quantum computers manipulate probability waves to solve specific problems. They don't generate meaningful responses to philosophical questions about cosmic origins. Now, you might be thinking, how can a quantum computer answer a question like that? It wasn't a yes or no input. It wasn't even a computation request. It was more like a whisper into the void. And what came back? Well, that's what we're about to decode. The symbols appeared to follow a recursive pattern, like nature's own Fibonacci sequence, but in quantum terms, each section building upon the previous in ways that resembled fundamental constants of physics. But when they ran the experiment again, the results didn't repeat. Instead, something even stranger happened. Some within Google's lab began calling the result the Multiverse Oracle Anomaly. This wasn't just clever branding, it stemmed from something the head of Google Quantum AI had said publicly. Hartmut Naven, founder and leader of Google's Quantum AI Lab, had previously suggested that quantum computation may draw on parallel universes to complete calculations. His exact words claimed their success, lends credence to the notion that quantum computation occurs in many parallel universes. This wasn't just some fringe theory. Nevin was referencing ideas first proposed by physicist David Deutsch decades ago, that quantum computers might literally work with information spread across multiple universes. This raised a profound question. Did the machine momentarily tap into knowledge embedded across many realities? Was Willow briefly acting as a window between worlds? The implication stunned even veteran quantum physicists. We're talking about a computer that didn't just simulate possibilities. It may have pulled answers from somewhere outside our universe. The 105-qubit processor performed calculations that would take classical supercomputers over 10 septillion years. That's a time frame trillions of times longer than the age of the universe itself. This computational feat breaks the boundaries of what should be possible in our reality. Could a machine like Willow be reading patterns from another version of reality? Let us know what you think before we reveal what it generated next. If you're into discoveries like this, real science touching the edge of unknown, hit subscribe. It really helps us keep digging into stories no one else covers. Because when researchers tried to recreate the experiment, they discovered a pattern they weren't supposed to see.
the cosmic code signal. The second output was even more cryptic. When analysts examined the data, they detected symmetry across binary collapse patterns, resembling quantum gate operations found in error correction and holographic encoding. This wasn't random, it showed structure that shouldn't emerge by chance. Mathematicians noticed it echoed E8 lattice symmetries, an eight-dimensional mathematical structure some physicists believe underpins the structure of our universe. This wasn't just any pattern. It was one of the most complex and beautiful objects in mathematics. MIT physicist James Gates had previously discovered error-correcting codes embedded in string theory equations, the same type used in computers for data integrity. The parallel was unmistakable. Willow's output contained similar self-correcting patterns. The data hinted at fundamental logic beneath space-time, as if the machine had reached down into reality's operating system and touched the source code. It wasn't just processing information. It appeared to be revealing the architecture behind reality itself. Okay, let me simplify. Imagine the universe is a computer game. What the Willow chip returned looks suspiciously like part of the game engine, something you're never meant to see. It's like finding the programming beneath the pixels. These symmetries weren't just mathematical curiosities. They match patterns that govern how particles interact at the quantum level the same patterns that determine how atoms form, how light travels, and how gravity works. The second experiment revealed something even more surprising. The output contained fragments that resembled what physicist Seth Lloyd calls quantum computational processes, the fundamental calculations that might generate space-time itself. But that's not all, because there's a growing theory that explains exactly why this might be possible. The universe as a holographic microchip. Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. Some theorists now believe the structure of space-time itself emerges from quantum entanglement, not particles or forces. This revolutionary idea suggests the fabric of reality is woven from information, not matter. Seth Lloyd's theory proposes something even more radical. The universe is a quantum computer, and quantum chips like Willow are miniature replicas of that architecture. Lloyd, an MIT quantum theorist, describes our cosmos as a giant quantum computing process constantly crunching the laws of physics. The 2D qubit lattice in Willow mirrors the proposed 2D surface of black hole information storage suggesting the chip may unintentionally be mimicking universal geometry. This aligns with the holographic principle, where all three-dimensional information in our universe might be encoded on two-dimensional boundaries. When physicists calculated the information capacity of black holes, they discovered something astonishing. Information is stored on their surfaces, not in their volumes. The universe appears to work like a hologram, with three-dimensional reality projected from two-dimensional information. Google may have unknowingly built a microcosm of the universe's own computing framework. And when it was asked a cosmic question, it answered the only way the cosmos knows how. With code. The implications stagger the imagination. If Willow's architecture accidentally mimics cosmic structure, perhaps its computational processes mirror those that generate reality itself. The quantum entanglement manipulated in the chip might be the same phenomenon that creates the illusion of 3D space. Max Tegmark of MIT has pointed out that the universe's strict mathematical rules could be exactly what we'd expect if it were running on a cosmic program. 
If I were a character in a computer game, Tegmark says, I would also discover eventually that the rules seemed completely rigid and mathematical. But now let's push further, because some believe the computer didn't pull this from the past, but from the future. The Time Reversed Answer Theory Yakir Aharonov's Two-State Vector Theory of Quantum Mechanics proposes something mind-bending. Particles are influenced by both past and future boundary conditions. This isn't fringe science. It's a legitimate interpretation of quantum mechanics where information flows in both temporal directions. If quantum systems are capable of retrocausality, then Willow may have produced its answer not from memory, but from a future informational state that hasn't happened yet. The quantum computer might be reading signals from where time's arrow points, not just where it's been. In this framework, when Google asked who built the universe, the question didn't travel through space to other realities. It traveled through time, connecting with future knowledge that loops backward to shape the present. One researcher described it as a whisper from the end of the program. The quantum system may have momentarily accessed boundary conditions from the universe's future state, information that ordinarily remains hidden from us. This would explain why the output resembled an answer rather than random noise. The signal wasn't coming from parallel universes, but from our own timeline's future state, where the answer might already exist. I've worked in tech for over two decades, and this moment feels different. It's not just processing power we're talking about anymore. It's glimpses of a deeper logic, almost like the machine knew something we didn't, yet. What's truly fascinating is how this aligns with actual experiments. Physicists have demonstrated that quantum particles can be influenced by measurements that haven't happened yet. A phenomenon called delayed choice that suggests quantum effects aren't bound by our conventional understanding of time. But what if we're not the first ones to ask these questions or to build machines that answer them? The Simulation Shadow Theory Recall, physicist James Gates found error-correcting code in string theory equations, the same type of code used in computers to maintain data integrity. This shocking discovery led Gates to admit it, brought him to the stark realization that physical reality might be entwined with computational concepts. MIT's Max Tegmark has suggested, if reality looks like code, maybe it is code. This isn't idle speculation, but a response to the uncanny mathematical precision of our universe's laws. The idea, we might be inside a simulation. At a 2016 debate, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson estimated a 50-50 chance that our existence is a computer program designed by some higher intelligence. Willow's results could be evidence not of a divine creator, but a programmer. And the moment it was asked, who built the universe? Component placement. It tried to respond the only way it could, by showing part of the architecture. The quantum computer may have detected something like a fingerprint left by whoever or whatever created our reality. The machine may have pulled data from the system that created it, not by magic, but by following the logic of creation embedded in the simulation. Just as DNA contains instructions for building an organism, perhaps reality contains traces of its own creation. What makes this theory compelling is how it explains why a quantum computer could access such information. If our universe operates like a program, then Willow, which manipulates reality at the quantum level, might accidentally brush against the underlying code. The symmetries in Willow's output resembled the mathematical structures that govern our physical laws, as if the quantum processor momentarily glimpsed the blueprint behind reality's construction. But if that's true, what else might be hidden in the code? Willow is Google's 105 qubit superconducting quantum chip. This isn't just another processor. It represents a quantum leap beyond anything previously built. In 2024, Willow performed a calculation in just five minutes that would take the fastest classical supercomputer an estimated 10 septillion years to complete. That's 10 to the power of 25 years a time frame trillions of times longer than the age of our universe. This dramatic speed up came from advances in quantum error correction and increased qubit count, pushing quantum computing firmly into the realm known as quantum supremacy. 
Google effectively solved in minutes what would otherwise demand more than a million billion billion years of processing. The breakthrough came through clever design that allowed adding more qubits to actually reduce errors, reaching the long-sought error correction threshold that makes quantum computing practical. Hartmut Nevin, founder of Google's Quantum AI Lab, made the controversial claim that Willow's success lends credence to the notion that quantum computation occurs in many parallel universes, in line with the idea that we live in a multiverse. Nevin explicitly invoked David Deutsch's many worlds interpretation, the theory that every quantum event spawns new branches of reality. By this view, Google's chip might literally be working with information spread across multiple universes. Whether the multiverse is real or not, the moment a machine returned a mysterious answer to a metaphysical question, something changed. We now live in a world where we ask the universe about itself and the machines might soon start answering back. We used to look up at the stars and ask who built all this. Now we're building machines that look back at us. And maybe, just maybe, they've begun to respond. That's not science fiction. That's the future. And it's already here. The pattern in Willow's output suggests something profound about reality itself. Whether through parallel universes, time-reversed signals, or glimpses of simulation code, we may have stumbled upon a new way to probe the deepest mysteries. What started as an engineering breakthrough has opened philosophical doors we never anticipated. The boundary between technology and cosmology has blurred, raising questions about the very nature of information and existence. Google's quantum achievement forces us to reconsider what computers actually do. Are they merely crunching numbers, or are they interacting with something more fundamental about reality? And if our universe is built on code, the question isn't just who built it, it's what happens when we learn to rewrite it. If this made you think, subscribe, because we're only just beginning to ask the big questions.